Bismillah wa salatu wa wa rasulillah. Good morning again. Today's lesson is about grammar and um, in context. Flying High 6, Unit 5, Grammar Guide, page 55. Okay? But before we start, we have to revise what we've taken before. Now, revision. Model verbs, we took before model verbs. Today we're going to take even more model verbs, but the last time we took it, it was in the present and future. Model verbs of the speculation and deduction. Speculation means uh, to khammin al mustaqbal. Now we use may, might, could, might not, or may not, could not. Okay? Now these are the things we always say must, couldn't. If you are uh, sure about it 90%, you say must. It must have been Ahmed who did this, for example. Now, in this one, it might be good. You don't know, maybe 50% good, 50% uh, sure. Okay, that's speculation. Now, today we're going to take it, um, but it's in the past. Something that happened in the past, and you don't know what's going on, but you kind of speculate. You kind of you, you want to deduct what's going on. So, it's the same way. If you, if you are, might, if you are, Sure or not sure, 50%, you say might have or may have. It must have been difficult to carry the big stone disc. It must have been difficult. It's 50%. And could have. You use could have. If you are what? 50% possibility or 50% sure of something was true, uh, the negative form are what? You say, might not have, or you say, may, I'm sorry, may not have, or might, mightn't have. Okay? This is mightn't have. We couldn't use, we don't use, could have, the past participle. Okay? You cannot use it in the negative form. Now, if you are sure by 90%, you're not sure exactly 100%, you're 90%, you should, must have. We use our, uh, when we are 90% certain that something was true. Okay? Now, we use can't have when we are 90% sure that something is, wasn't true. If something is not, not true, we use can't have. For example, he said, my, uh, they, may or may, might, could have. Uh, you say may have or might have or could have used salt as money because you could use it anywhere. Okay? Now in this one they might not, mightn't, may not have had enough uh, metal to make uh, coins. Now, correct the mistakes in these sentences. We have sentences. Now correct the mistake. It's only, uh, it's only uh, lunchtime and you look tired. You must have a bad morning. You must have a bad morning. So you say, you must have had a bad morning. We're talking, we're talking about the past. Now in this one, it must have been Ali because he hasn't got a key. Now, in this one, he says, somebody unlocked, unlocked the door. It must have been Ali, because he doesn't have a door. If someone doesn't have a key, he couldn't unlock it. So, he said, it couldn't have been Ali. It couldn't have been Ali, because he hasn't got a key. In this one, I think uh, Atif or Atif might send me an email last night. Might send me an email last night. See? I think Atif might have sent, might have sent me an email last night. Fatima hasn't replied to me, to my email. She might have, she mightn't have received. Oh, she mightn't has received. Say, she mightn't have received, not has. Walid isn't here. He must have left or gone. Use the past participle. Okay? Already. And in this one, let's not buy 
uh, buy her that book. I'm sure, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think she might buy it earlier. She might buy it earlier. You say, she might have bought it earlier. She might have bought it earlier. You can't be read, you, you can't be read that book already. You say, you can't have read that book already. Read that book. And the last one is, it mustn't have rained last night because the streets are dry. It mustn't have res, uh, tr uh, rained. It mustn't have rained. Oh, I'm sorry. It can't have rained. Now, if you look at this coin or this note, uh, 10,000 yen note, it's from J uh, Japan. Uh, complete these texts with the past model verbs of the uh, speculation and have and the verb given. So they gave you a verb and they gave you the, the, uh, an article to complete. So if you look at the, 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 the 10,000 note, what are you going to talk about? What are we going to talk about? If you look at this note, it's from Japan. So this is from Japan. The story, it's, it, it happened in Japan. Japan, it, it, uh, it has something to do with money. So to give you the context, now this guy, every time when the civil service person, the civil service employee goes to clean the toilet, they found a 10,000 yen note waiting for them. And with a, a note that said, be happy. Every time they go to a public toilet, they found the, the 10,000 uh, yen. Now, it got bigger and they didn't find it only in one uh, uh, service uh, station or service place. They found it in every, uh, in every part of Tokyo. After that, they stopped. Now, they started speculating that this guy is going to die. That's why they, uh, that's the, uh, that's because they, they stopped. Uh, they thought it, he died. Now, in this one, he said, nobody knows who left the note because it, then be the same person because they left handwritten messages with the note and the written was, all, the written was always the same. The, the writing was also, also always the same. So in this one, he said, mustn't, must have been, must have been. Be, we use it, we put been must have been the same person. Now in this one, he said, they are quite sure that a woman leave. That a woman can't have left, couldn't have left these notes. Why? The notes, because, they, these notes, because they always appeared in the men's toilet, only in the men's toilet. Now in the second, the third one, he said, more than 425 people found notes. So the men have, what do you speculate? The men must have had, must have had a lot of money. I'm sorry, the man, this person, the man must have had a lot of money. And in this one, he said, uh, please be happy with the note, please be happy with, with the money. This uh, suggests that the man be happy, um, uh, happy himself. So must or may, may or might have been happy himself. Again, notes can be sure, nobody can be sure, but other people think that the man work a civil, as a civil service himself, servant himself. So the man was working as a civil servant. What do you think? Might or may have worked as a civil, ser civil servant, service. Um, and then he said, one thing is clear. He move quickly. He, what, what do you think? He must have moved quickly because in one morning, the, uh, he left 18, uh, 10,000 yen notes 
in 18 different places or toilets in Tokyo. After that, the man's handwritten handwriting was getting worse. He was handwriting, be happy, but it's getting worse and worse. And so people think he have. He might or might, may or might have been. May or might have been what? In a terrible illness. He was ill. Now, unfortunately, the man then died. Must have died. Why do we must? Because the note sta suddenly stopped appearing. The note stopped appearing after that. Now, speaking, walk in pairs, look at these situations, and write at least two sentences with must have, might have, and can't have to explain them. So try to write some notes or write some sentences to explain these. Now, my uncle didn't use, didn't used to be rich, but now he's a millionaire. Now he's a millionaire. What do you think happened to him? So, he might have stole the money? No, I don't think so. So, what do you say? Maybe he must have worked very hard. He might have been successful in his business. So, he must have worked very hard. He might have been successful in his business. These are speculation. I'm not sure, but 50% sure. And so this one is must. Be, I'm 90% I'm, I'm sure, and this one I'm 50% sure. Now, Suzanne always passed her exams, but last week she failed an exam. Now, what do you think happened to her? Speculate. What do you think? Use must or may. Now, she might have been tired. She can't have studied enough. She couldn't have, I'm sorry, she couldn't have studied enough or can't have studied enough. Okay? Now, compare your ideas with the rest of the, of the class. Now, you should complete the, the rest of the questions and then try to compare your ideas. And that's it. Thank you very much. We hope to see you again.